Just met one person with two jacks who jumped all over me and covered me in mud. But they're sweet. Right, off to Bosington. Um, there's the beach. There's one of the um, defensive structures there. Look, a pillar box, I think they call it, that I had a look at. It's full of pebbles. And the other big structure is a lime kiln, an old lime kiln. But I'm hoping to walk back along there. It isn't too bad if you walk on the top. I'm already getting, starting to get warm, so I'll probably at the next gate, I'm going to take my... Um, I knew I wouldn't really need them both, but it's always best to be on the safe side. Because I'm slower, and I've been walking slower. Right, we go around here now, we'll be at Bosington in a minute. I don't know if the loos will be open. Just You need to know this sort of thing, by the way, when you're walking. You don't have to be embarrassed about talking about it either. But, um... Because it's so early, they might not open them to 10 o'clock. Do you know what I mean? Don't they realise that people walk early as well? Now, at Porlock, where they had them open. Because they were aware of that. People come and park up because they're going to go walking. And if they've driven from somewhere, the first thing they want to do is use the facilities. Obviously, it's all biodegradable what you produce anyway, so when we're out on a big hike, what are you going to do? You're going to have a convenience out there, aren't you? It's all things to consider when you go out, though. All things to consider. So there's Bossington Hill ahead of me. I did a parallel walk to this path on my first evening here. I've got to slow up a bit. I can feel my legs get feeling tired already. I've done a lot of walking, Sheila. You don't have to march. Slow down. Slow down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, other sort of parallel pathways, actually. Right, when I get to, like, a st I'm going to stop at this little, where two hedges get close and take my Mac off now. Because what that does, that just draws the sweat out of you. But I'm just doing a little bit of videoing to capture a bit more of the walk, because a lot can be missed. And you just think that we get from A to B, but there's a lot in between. And obviously I'm not recording the whole lot still. But like I said, I just zoom into that, because that's where I'm heading. For that structure there. It's got a name. Hurlston Point, or something like that, I think it's called. I went up Hurlstone, Hurlstone Coombe. I came down yesterday, but I've... Yeah, I don't think I've ever walked up it. I've only ever come down it. That's right. Yeah, there's lots of different tracks you can go on. I think the one I went on, as I can see somebody walking now, that's the one I went on last night, down that way towards that awful orchard. It's breathtaking, the views here, though, isn't it? Breathtaking. Over and out. Right, I'm on the bridge. I'm just leaving Bosington now. The, the, the conveniences were open, which and there was a group of young men getting ready for a hike, you can tell, talking about their gear and everything. So I'm off to Helston Point. I did do a little bit of video here yesterday, but there's a lot of people. There's dog people playing with a dog. Um, I stopped over there. Yeah. 
<clears throat> so I did a bit of videoing, but I was very, very tired when I came here yesterday. And every stone on my foot, because my toes were really hurting, um, I felt as if my toes had been bent in half from walking down Hurston Point on real lots and lots of stone after doing that big hike. I mean, I couldn't walk far. I've got these shoes, walking shoes on today. They're not too bad, actually. Like I said, they are. I only had them. I've only bought them this year, but they've had to do a lot of walking. I've been using them a lot for the summer. Uh, they've been good, but they're starting to lose their support a bit now. There's, I don't know the name of this stream. It's the same one that comes off where I was up in the wood the other day. Um, it's the same walk, I think it's the same stream flowing down to the sea. I thought I'd do another little bit of videoing. There's a group of about four or five young men who looks like they're all getting geared up to maybe they're going to do the rugged route. And all I know is I'm glad I didn't plan that as a circular. But you see, it would have been all right. The other one, the first walk I did when I had the energy, that well, not the first one, the second walk I did towards Lynmouth on the coastal path, that was far more strenuous, I think. Far more. There was a lot more you had to do. There were steps, there were big steep inclines, long stretches of going uphill. Um, I would say I thought it was extremely beautiful and I enjoyed every minute of it. I'm not saying in a bad way. I just think what it is with the mine head one, it is rugged, it's true. But a lot of it was quite easy going really. You had a couple of hills to do, but it was, it was the length of it. Although I did it quite quick. Honest. I think I did it in about three hours. Now, if I did it in that time, yeah, didn't take long. I mean, if you should count from leaving mine head exactly, no, it would. You can add on an hour. It's going to be a bit blowy up here. Hence, might need to put the coat back on later. There's the marshes over there again. I'm never really sure if you can get through that gate never really tells you that you can so I've never bothered but there is another gate over the other side um, what you can do is um, what I remember from Hurston Point just a little way down the track there's a, a way onto the beach that's what I ho I'm hoping to do this will be a steady climb now, what I'm doing. This will, this will actually, this is what I walked down yesterday. This will play havoc with my muscles today. Then the, the lovely walk back along there. To finish the, the, the day off. I've got to remember, it's not, this is the last memory card. So there might not be a lot on there, so I've got to remember that. Over and out. <sighs>